Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about dot dot did form another low yesterday, but it's still holding the important Fibonacci support region between 385 and 422. There was a wick below the important $3.85 level, which is the 78.6 retracement of the initial rally that happened between the 5th of August and the 8th of August. So this is a critical support level. We've had a nice reaction and a small reversal candle there on the four hour chart. Um, of course, not enough yet to confirm that a low has been established. Actually, it's forming something that we might call a bit of a, a descending wedge pattern. Um, I've seen really only a few of them work out in the current cycle. So I'm not very much uh, focused on that. I just wanted to say it's an observation. We might easily get another low. And it's possible that, for example, even in the white scenario where we're tracking a 1-2 setup where the ABC structure is unfolding um, in this C wave, we have five waves. And within the fifth wave, it might be that it's doing this like 1, 2, 3, 4, and maybe one more low in an ending diagonal within wave 5. That's speculative, however, because we're operating now on a wave degree that's really, really tiny. Um, but yeah. It's it's as long as you could say as long as yesterday's low is holding or even it could even get another low. Important is it doesn't break below the invalidation point at three dollars and sixty or yeah just just below three sixty. It's this October twenty twenty three low here yeah and it's the fifth of August low. As long as we don't break below that, um, this one two setup is valid even though below three eighty five it will reduce in likelihood, which is also why we've got the yellow scenario. Uh, which I'm not very confident about, but it just allows for another low as well. So we could easily go down even lower. So it's just about, first of all, is the market still in a correction? Yes. Now there's absolutely no evidence this correction is complete. I wanna see some evidence. There is nothing at the moment. So if we go lower, then there will be a pivot that distinguishes between the yellow count that could even send us lower possibly to 280 and the white count, which is very limited to 360. So the yellow count uh, can go lower, the white count can't. Um, technically speaking, it doesn't matter to the price, right? Because the price is in a downtrend. We're still in a decline. So there is absolutely no sign that we're turning around. What is noteworthy, however, is that the structure is changing a little bit. So from this quite strong move down, we're now entering a phase. You see it better on the one hour chart where the market is forming a lot of overlapping price action. So after this micro fourth wave that topped here on the 3rd of September, this seems like a diagonal pattern. So it's the bulls are starting to push, but they are not strong enough yet. That's essentially what it means. But these patterns often occur at the end of something. So I am very much aware that we could get a rally, but the nature of that rally will really tell us more about how DOT is going to move in the next few months because if we see a surge, a strong impulsive surge, and it's taking us to approximately, let's say here, I mean, even if it takes us above that last swing high that formed in August at around $5.10, I mean, even that would already be an invalidation of the of the yellow count as it is. Yeah, um, Not necessarily because this B wave could always go higher, but it would it would probably shift probabilities towards the bulls, but it doesn't change the fact that we need to see a solid five wave move to the upside in circle one to really get some clarity finally that a substantial low has formed. So it's always about the five wave pattern. This is a possible five wave pattern which ended on the 8th of August, but it's too small in the greater context to matter. That's the update about DOT. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.